everyone. I know you must be hungry, so I've been standing there for about five minutes cutting my presentation short. So I'll try to make it short and to the point. Um, the health care reform bill, I believe, was a very important step forward for the country. And it will do many good things, not perfect by any means, but will do many good things. To give you an example, the short-run benefits to Pennsylvanians are acute. Uh, I have a meeting next uh, Monday to begin planning how we're going to put 140,000 very sick Pennsylvanians who have no medical coverage into the high-risk pools that the bill creates right now. Um, 400,000 Pennsylvanians will get the benefit of the $250 check, senior Pennsylvanians, to help plug the donut hole in Medicare Part D. 150,000 Pennsylvania businesses with 25 employees or less are eligible this year for a 35 percent tax credit. Those businesses provide health care to 650,000 Pennsylvania employees. And of course, in September, no child, no parent will ever have the horrible, horrific experience of having their child denied health care because of a pre-existing condition. Those are the short-run benefits. More importantly for Pennsylvania, because of the recession, we now have 2 million of our 12.5 million people without health care. Those people will get access to health care as we get into the next couple of years, and it is important, it is vital, it is the right thing to do, and this was an important step forward. But I think if we were here 15 years from now, our debate would all be about this health care reform bill. Did it, in fact, bend the cost curve? That will be the tail of the tape. That will determine whether this bill is successful or not. Uh, I believe it can and should. And there are ways that we can go down this road. And I think the reason I've been asked to come and speak to you is because Pennsylvania has started down that road. In my second year as governor in 2004, we unveiled something called Rx for PA, Prescription for Pennsylvania. And we had really three goals. One was to increase access to health care for our citizens. At that time, it wasn't clear that there ever would be a national health care reform bill or national health insurance. So we wanted to increase access. We wanted to um, make health care more affordable.